Greetings viewers, in this video, we'll be demonstrating how to wirelessly control two servos using an Arduino Pro Mini and the NRF24L01 module. I'll be using a joystick to control each servo and as bonus, I've also included a blinking program in Sketch as well as an extra LED that will be triggered by an interrupt. Two buttons will be used to turn the extra LED on and off. A link to the sketch will be provided under the description. On the transmitter side, we'll be needing a 9 volt battery, a joystick, the Arduino Nano, and it's more helpful to have the NRF adapter together with the module. Or you can just use a voltage divider and adding a at least a 10 microfarad capacitor in, the, in between the power supply. On the receiver side, we'll be needing two servos, two buttons, two LEDs, two pieces of resistor which is 220 ohm, the nano, the NRF adapter and module, and remember to supply an external power to the servos because the nano cannot provide enough. On the transmitter side, we include the libraries, which is the SPI, the like RF24, and then we define two variables to read from the analog input pins of the Arduino, which is A0 and A1, and then we define two packets that will that will be using to transmit the data and then define the CE and CSN pins on the RF24 which is designated as 9 and 10 you can change these you can change these to other pins if you like then you set up a single pipe address under the setup we begin serial communication at 9600 then we initiate the radio to, by radio begin we set the transmission power to minimum if you're having problems receiving you can change this this setting which begins from a low setting, minimum, and then high setting. Data rate transmission. Under the data rate, we can set from 250 kilobytes per second up to 2 megabits per second. Then we set up a radio channel. You can choose which channel you want. Ranging from one, ranging from one to one hundred and twenty-four. Then we set the radio to stop listening, and we open the writing pipe. We read from the analog pin and assign the value to data zero. Here we read from the analog pin A one and assign it to data 1. These serial print statements are only for checking. Then we write the data.
on the receiver side basically is almost the same setup so we have the libraries included and we set up an array to receive the data then we also define the radio which is we define the CE and CSN pins which is 9 and 10 and we have a single pipe address this statement is just for it's just for displaying the word bingo every one second since we're adding a blink program on in the sketch we have to use millis to avoid using delays so here we have the blinking program which executes every 0.5 of a second we set the LED pin 4 and initially we set it at low for the output LED of the interrupt we use pin 7 we include the servo driver We initialize the server angle at zero. We assign the server pin which is five, and same goes with second one which is pin six. This one we're not using now. We define two servo objects, and then under the setup. We begin serial communication, start the radio, set the power level and the data transfer rate. Similar to the transmitter, we set it to the same channel and we open a reading pipe. And we set the receiver to start listening. Then we attach the servos to the Arduino pins. Five and six for the blinking LED we set it to output for the interrupt pins we set pin 2 and 3 to pull up and attach the interrupt to detect when it senses a falling signal under the loop we assign current time on we assign current time for millis and then if the event interval is reached it prints out bingo then we set the previous time to the current time so for the led to blink almost the same setup but then we have another if statement which detects the state of the LED and if it's low set it to high then we print on the serial monitor LED on and if the LED state is low print LED off then we digital write the LED according to the LED state and the second previous time to the current time so for receiving the data from the transmitter if data is available, we read the data. Then, if the data on zero is less than 460, we decrement the servo angle. Then we write to the servo. But if the servo angle is less than or equal to 10, 
we fix that value to 10. If data 0 is greater than 564, we increment the servo angle and write to the servo. Likewise, if the servo angle is greater than or equal to 160, we equal the servo angle to the maximum of 160. Same goes for data 1. I've chosen arbitrary values of 10 and 160, but you can set your own servo limits if you like. Using the joystick, I'm operating the two servos individually. As you can see, when I move each servo, it retains its position. As you can see, now for turning on the LED using an interrupt, I'm using two buttons. Turn the LED on and off. 